Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the frying pan card over here. So you're going through a lot of problems at the moment. You've got a lot of trouble, a lot of accusations being thrown around. Uh, you've got a shield card over there. So that says you do need to defend yourself in this particular situation. So whatever's going on, Whatever trouble you're facing, uh, you know, you do need to stand up and defend yourself there. You've got the pineapple card above it, so there's some kind of reconciliation that will be going uh, on. So, you know, it looks like things will resolve themselves. Defend yourself, and it looks like, you know, try and work towards reconciliation with this pineapple card. Uh, it looks like, you know, things will start sorting themselves out. Now, uh, in the past, you've got uh, the finger card over here, so warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. So this could be the problem. Maybe somebody gave you a heads up that it was going to be coming along. Uh, somebody seems to have given you some warning. Uh, so you may have been aware that something has been coming through, uh, through for you. You know, some kind of problem was going to... Um, uh, you are going to encounter some kind of problem. This could also have been your own psychic ability to uh, pick up on the fact that you might have, uh, you know, um, maybe you saw trouble on its way to you. So it seems like you've got a forewarning uh, in the past. Uh, you've got uh, stepping into a new experience, so it looks like you may have changed changed circumstances. You might have started doing something brand new. Uh, maybe there's a new direction that you were following as well. So there's something new that has st uh, started for you, uh, and maybe you know people are always unhappy when they they meet up with new people, and maybe this is the reason why all these problems have started. So it looks like there is some kind of issue that you are dealing with in uh, at the moment. So you do need to stand up for yourself with this uh, shield card and defend yourself. Now, going into the future, you've got the bow card, so, you know, people will uh, respect you for standing up for yourself. So, whatever you have to do, stand up for, uh, whatever, you know, your uh, values are, whatever you believe in, you make sure that it's well known. And this is how you will get that respect from the people around you, and they will start seeing you in a different light. You know, if you give in to everybody else's uh, needs, then people see you as a pushover, and they think that they can walk all over you. So stand up and roll like a lion, and make sure that you're standing up for whatever you believe in. Uh, you've got a f uh, dealings with a fair-haired person, uh, so there might be somebody who's got fair hair or blonde hair that might be very sig significant for you during this week, and you may need them for advice. You could be having trouble with them, but there's definitely this person that features in your life uh, for this week. So they could be fair-haired, gray-haired, uh, you know, some kind of light hair uh, going on. They could have dark hair with a few strands of gray hair in it, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's a person who's fair-haired, and they might feature quite significantly in this week for you. So I hope that this reading, uh, this uh, energy uh, read has resonated with you, or will resonate with you. So I'm going to do the general tarot read for you now. Okay, so uh, for this part, I'm going to be using today's journey tarot. Okay, so you've got the Eight of Earth over here. So you are very, very focused on your work over here. You're learning on the job. It looks like you've had previous training, so you're pretty trained up for it, but you're also learning some new skills as well. Uh, you might be specializing in this particular job. There might be some study or some further training that is involved in this particular job as well. But you can see head down and being very, very focused on this job. You are earning while you work as well. So this is, you know, it's almost apprentice-like, this job, uh, but you are learning a lot of skills and you're becoming quite good at it, uh, you know, um, quite the expert at whatever you're doing. You're also, uh, it seems like you're a lot uh, um, of focus is being put on to you. So maybe a lot of people coming to you for advice or even uh, to tell you, um, you know, instruction on how to do things as well. So you might be training people up as well as learning on this particular job. Whatever it is, it's very intricate, uh, and it's requiring a lot of your concentration. So you've got the Father of Earth over here crossed by the Two of Air. Now, the Father of Earth is usually about, uh, you know, dealing uh, uh, with um, uh, finances. This is about, this is a money card, in other words. That's what I wanted to say. 
this is about uh, you know getting a promotion, uh, being in charge, getting a lot of money. You can see this man has climbed up all these stairs and he's at the top of this particular staircase here and he's looking down at this um, whatever he has built. So it looks like, you know, whatever you're working towards, there's a promotion on its way for you and you are working up that career ladder and it looks like you're going to reach the top and it looks like a lot of finance is going to be coming for you. Uh, now, you could also be dealing with an earth sign person here. So this could be, this is usually a card that is denoted by Capricorn uh, rather than uh, Taurus or Virgo. Uh, so you could well be dealing with a Capricorn person over here, uh, somebody who is in charge, uh, somebody who is, uh, you know, um, accumulated a lot of wealth as well so you could be dealing with that kind of person as well there's some kind of decision that is pending maybe there's a legal issue that you have with this particular person uh, if you're dealing with a Capricorn person or, or an earth sign person there might be some legal issue that you're dealing with them uh, there might be some decision that you're waiting to, um, for or uh, you, you're trying to make a decision about them as well something official as well with that two of air maybe not all the information coming to light there's something that is missing uh, from this particular uh, decision some kind of information that is missing and you're you're trying to you don't want to get even uh, to, you don't want to really make that decision so uh, you know you might be uh, reluctant to make a decision about um, you know, dealing with this particular person. This might be even a breakup that you don't, you're reluctant to actually uh, make that decision. Uh, so, you know, you're trying to step back from it. Now, if this is a work situation that you're dealing with, because you've got that uh, eight of uh, earth over there, so that's being very focused on the work. This could be about promotion, and this is, could be about waiting for this promotion to come in and maybe signing legal documents as well or signing a new contract as far as that work circumstance goes. Um, you know, if you are dealing, like I said, with a earth sign person or a Capricorn person, then maybe there's some kind of legal uh, dispute that you're having with this particular person and you're waiting for resolution of that particular problem. Uh, maybe a legal decision is what you're waiting for or you're waiting to make a decision or maybe you're trying to get some legal advice as well on how to deal with this particular situation. So they could be, you know, it could be either one of those scenarios. Now, in the past, you've got uh, the lover's card over here, which is the union card. And this is talking about maybe there's been issues that have uh, gone on regarding your relationship, your love relationship. It's a union card in this particular thing. So there's been some kind of issues that's been going on. Uh, maybe you all have had some kind of dispute as well. Uh, there's a lot of clouds in, that partic in this particular card, and you can see these people are not even looking at each other. So there might have been uh, maybe a separation that's gone on as far as your uh, relationship goes. There's also some kind of choice that has to be make or you, you know, made as well with that uh, lover's card. It's also all about choice because it's the card ruled by Mercury. You know, there's two pathways to follow. Uh, and there's some kind of choice that has been pending. But this could also be a breakup or, uh, you know, um, the relationship has had a bit of strain put on it as well. Um, so you've been, uh, you know, trying to hang in there. You've got the fortitude of the strength card over there, uh, you know, trying to sort out issues or problems that you've been dealing with. Maybe the problems seem to be a bit overwhelming right now. This seems like a really big block of um, bricks there that this man or even wood that this man has to break through and he's quite a skinny little man so it looks like you know you've been dealing with a very very difficult problem a difficult issue and there's been a need for you to focus on that particular problem in order to sort it out so uh, you know the fortitude card is a card ruled by leo so there could be some leo energy going on there as well so maybe there's some kind of problem that a leo person has walked in and presented to you as well but it looks like there might have been there are some relationship issues going on over there and there's a need for you to hang in there uh, to be able to try and sort it out you know you have to probably think bigger or think outside of the box in order to get this particular problem sorted out and it looks like it might uh, you know it's got to do with finances as well because you've got that follow of earth over here so some, some kind of legal dispute going on about finances there could be a dispute going on about property as well because you can see there's a lot of houses in the background over there so there could be that kind of issue over there uh, you know where you're either seeking legal advice or waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in now what's in your mind you've got the seven of fire so whatever is going on there's a lot of problems going on around you because this is seven of fire so there's seven different rods coming at you so seven different problems coming at you 
and you're trying to almost multitask as far as dealing with these problems. So you really are a bit confused as to where to focus your intention and what to deal with next. So this is about defending yourself. Even the energy card spoke about defending yourself. So you do need to defend yourself in whatever is going on over here because there's a lot of problems, a lot of hassles that you're having to deal with all at the same time. A lot of things vying for your attention and a lot of issues that you've got to sort out over there with that seven of fire. So it's all around, you know, it's going on in your head. Don't let it overwhelm you. Take one thing at a time. Now you've got the four of fire over here. So this is uh, the four of rods. This is usually about stability. This is about the whole. Uh, this is about celebrating victory as well and uh, you can see these people are sitting and having a barbecue that's a barbecue over there you know things are being roasted over there now the four of uh, this is about a celebration or get together with friends or family so there's some kind of victory that's coming to you over here this also could be you know you if you've been having problems about property or uh, you know that kind of thing it looks like that gets sorted out over here because this is about celebration there and four or five is about the stability or setting down roots, really. Uh, so it looks like, you know, a success coming in after working on something as well. If it's a, a work project, it looks like success coming in for you there. But there's, uh, there's a lot of stability going on down over there. And whatever problems you've, de you've been dealing with, it looks like you're pretty much victorious with this four of fire. Um, so... What's uh, going on with you, um, you've got the seven of air over here. So you are dealing with, this is the seven of swords. You know, you can see this man is cheating. So you might be dealing with a cheat in itself. Uh, somebody who is uh, doing things behind your back and that you are not really aware of. So this man is trying to copy this man's, uh, this boy is trying to copy it from this boy here. And uh, obviously this boy is not really aware that this chap is, uh, you know, stealing information. So there might be a theft of information you might be dealing with somebody who is saying things to you and they don't really mean it so be aware that you know they might be causing problems or something is not honest about whatever this dealing is that you're dealing with whoever you're dealing with this person is quite dishonest so be aware of that that's going on with that seven of air so you've got the wisdom card over here which is the um high priestess um so this is about uh, trusting your own gut instincts waiting for things to happen there's divine timing at play here with the um um high priestess you've got to look within yourself for answers but also it's a card that advises just don't go and tell everybody everything that's going on you need to keep thing hi things hidden i don't know if you can see all these cards are turned face down so Things uh, need to be kept hidden. You might even need to go and get some psychic advice as well. But keep your uh, play your cards very close to your chest. Don't tell everything, everybody what's going on with you, and wait. Um, the um, high priestess always it's it's a card that deals with moon cycles, so you do need to wait for things to come to light. Uh, the information will eventually be revealed. Uh, that the information that you need, but don't. Don't go around telling people your business. So keep your uh, your information to yourself as well. Now you've got the nine of earth, so you're hoping for financial independence. You might be thinking of moving away from whatever is going on here. And, uh, you know, you want recognition for all your work and you want that financial independence to come in as well with that nine of earth. That's in your hopes and fears. Now going into the future, then final outcome, you've got the ten of earth over there, intervention, and you've got the six of fire. So with that ten of earth, it's ending an old circumstance, an old, you know, if you were financially tied to somebody. So, uh, you know, it looks like if you have got financial ties to the, maybe this earth sign person over here, uh, and you're trying to make a decision about whether to end that kind of association, it looks like you're going to be ending it over there and moving forward. This is also a card about, um, you know, if you are waiting for some this person to maybe even give you an inheritance it might look it looks like you know and you're waiting for some legal decision about that it looks like that money may come to you as well with that ten of earth so it's definitely breaking ties off with somebody from a financial point of view but it also is about inheritance uh, it's about getting some kind of financial payoff and that looks like that's coming in for you there you know so that so that you have enough money to even leave it as in, in maybe in your world to your children so it's um it's about getting money or it's getting about getting inheritance or about having some kind of payoff if it is a job circumstance then you are leaving it behind and moving on but you're also getting a payoff from it so there's money definitely coming in with that 10 of earth there's a intervention card over here there's a big tower moment over here so it looks like, you know, the ending of, an, uh, of a situation, an old situation, financial situation, you know, 
and you've got the tower card over here you can see these people are leaving their home and walking away from it so whatever this decision is whatever this legal decision is that you're waiting for to come through with that two of air uh, you know it puts an end to a whole bunch of uh, things uh, you know maybe your living conditions maybe where you know changes your financial status in a big way so that you are even able to move out so there's a big tower moment coming over here, a big shake-up of your life coming in over here. And maybe you're going to have to actually even move home. Uh, you, maybe you're going to be thinking about going and buying a new home and moving off into a different direction. So there's a closure coming over here with that Ten of Earth. Uh, and it might generate finances for you, so money might be coming in this in some kind of payoff. But whatever the circumstances, it brings about a big change, a big shift in energy. And uh, it looks like, you know, you might be moving on, taking your family and moving on. You are going to be victorious in whatever is going on. So, uh, you know, even though uh, whatever comes to pass, it looks like you come out as a clear winner. Uh, so whatever obstacles and problems you are facing, uh, it looks like after that tower moment, you are the one that's going to be emerging victorious as well with that six of fire. So going through a lot of problems, but actually emerging with that, uh, the trophy in your hand as opposed to everybody else. So even though you may need to move home, uh, it looks like you're the one that's going to be coming out quite victorious. So this could be a, a you know, um, financial payoff. This could also be inheritance. This could also be, you know, in inheriting, uh, you know, home, some kind of property that's coming in for you. And, uh, you know, maybe you, you're going to be moving on uh, after you, you get that money and you come out pretty much victorious after that. So big changes coming in for you, big shifts in energy with that tower card over here and it looks like you're going to be the one that's going to be very, very victorious. And you've even got that uh, four of uh, fire there and this is about, you know, like I said, putting on roots. This is also about buying a home. Uh, and establishing your security as well. And, you know, you've got that six of rods over there. It looks like uh, you're definitely coming out a winner over there. So there might be some kind of property that you're inheriting or some kind of money or some kind of payment that allows you to buy property. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Angel Tarot. And this is the seven of water. So a complex decision, a need to do research, stop procrastinating. So there's a lot of um, options available to you and, uh, you know, whichever one that you want to uh, pursue, you need to go and do some research and make a decision and move on. So decide what you want to do uh, and move on uh, with it. You've got the nine of water over there. So it says your wishes come true there or with the nine of water, so the nine of cups, concerns fade away and a love of life. So you are definitely coming out a winner here and especially with that... Um, Nine of water, you are definitely getting your wishes fulfilled. Uh, that's the card of satisfaction. And you've got the high priestess appearing again, which says, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. So in both these circumstances, you need to keep things to yourself, listen to your intuition, and uh, just have a little bit of patience. Uh, things will come to you. Now, she's got a book in this particular um, deck so you can see that you do need to go and do some research uh, there are things that are hidden from you so you do need to go and find some answers uh, before you uh, act and uh, maybe you know think about things very carefully before you start making big decisions so I hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it hasn't thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye